My survival world is almost 10,000 days old. I built dozens of structures, farms, everything I need, but there are still some little things that I can do and that I probably never will. Do you ever find yourself complaining about how boring is food in Minecraft? I packed up a selection of food mods and created my own food paradise in Minecraft Survival. I didn't want to go OP, so I just added a few food mods and I will play with the vanilla rules, not teleporting mods, crazy weapons or tricky gimmicks. But there will be pizza, beer, teas, new straps, techniques and crops. That's my goals for the first 100 days. Find new crops and trees, of course. Build a starter house. Craft different food, such as cake, pizza, tea and even homemade beer. Finally, hold a sumptuous banquet. My mods pack done and we are ready to start this adventure. Of all places, I spawn on a mangrove tree. Well, I love mangroves, so that's good for later. Let's start by punching... No, not a tree, but grass to get some exciting new seeds. See? Oh, it's garlic. Then I did the usual. Punch the tree, craft the first wooden tools and start to look for a place to call home. Hey, the drift blocks bear fruit. While exploring, I found some new trees from the foodables mod. Each tree has its own fruit and settings, like this mango, while the oak is oak or jungle. Uh, I'm pretty sure banana trees doesn't look like that, but whatever, I like it anyway. Wait, look at that blue structure. It could be some kind of village. Oh my, it's an Oktoberfest tent! Look at these tables and all the details. This is for sure the last to brewery mod. It already looks amazing! Oh, I hope they don't mind if I rip down a piece of their tent to craft a bed. Sorry guys, I need it more than you do. Not a moment too soon. It's night here. Oh, guys, I know you want to party, but I'm so tired. Oh, breakfast is ready. How kind of you. Ah, uh, this mug smells good. Is that coffee? Oh, barley beer. Well, let's give it a try. I feel... Let's check. Pink charisma. I wonder what does it mean. And intoxication. Fair. I guess I deserved it. I found a village not too far from the beer tent. Ooh, who are you? Sandwich maker. Okay, I'll keep it in mind. Regular chests contain even the mod items like tomato and barley seeds. And what is this? Maybe the workstation of the sandwich guy. Oh, I'm starving. Let's try this free sample. Oh, it restored more than seven food bars. A wild crop? That's a tea, right? Never say no to a ruined portal loot. Good, I need everything. I think I just found the place where I want to live. This little hill is not far from the Samana village and it has an amazing view. It's in the jungle, so the grass has this perfect, vibrant color. One day, I will build my house on that hill, but for now, I set up here on the beach. I planted all the new seeds I found so far. The trellis ones are tomatoes. This is lettuce. It actually seems lettuce and many more crops. Look at that ore up there. It's salt? Uh, it makes sense. Salt can be mined. It's harvest time. These are onions. Another kind of tomato. And the tall one is barley. Interesting. I mined for some iron, I got myself a shield and some leggings, but what I really want to show you is the very nice flower. Hibiscus. And then another sapling. I thought it was fruit, instead it's a pepper tree, and it also drops peppercorns. Now I need two stripped logs. Let's craft three brand new tools. A cutting board, a drying rack, and a sandwich table. With the drying rack, I can dry peppercorns, like so. 
Now, if I put a freshly harvested lettuce on the cutting board, I can cut it into lettuce leaves. What is this? Ooh, coffee beans! That looks interesting. Can I dig this sand? Salt rock. And I like that stone. Can I mine? Oh, I broke it. This pond is fantastic. Let me try this. Oh, just a pink. Haha, squid. I guess fried calamari will be soon on my menu. I wrapped this bar counter from the Oktoberfest tent and I hope I can create a beer guy here. There he is, brewmaster. I already have barley, but I need some hope seeds. I spent some day mining deep slate iron and finally even two diamonds. It's time to terraform the inn and build my starter house. This is not just a house, but a restaurant or maybe a mess hall where all the workers gather after a hard day work. Therefore, the ground floor will have a big patio, mostly in andesite but textured with different grey blocks. Inside the house, I want a functional kitchen with the new tools from the food mods. This place is supposed to be warm and welcoming and also a nice working place for the cook. I want red walls in mangrove planks all around. Above the floor, I have the perfect idea. Do you remember our spawn point? Let's grab some mud. I could farm it, but it's quicker this way. Let's eat one of these fancy pretzels. Tasty! I need the muddy roots. I think they're perfect for a rustic floor. Pay attention, you have to put them in the same direction. See, this one is sideways, it's not correct. Mangrove roots might not be the best block in the game, but they are far from useless. If you don't need them, you can easily compost them or even use them as a fuel. This is the main door and the patio door. Wait, a first visitor. You're welcome, sir. I really need your string. Ooh, and the eye too. I spent some days taking care of the crops and then I got back gathering resources from the starter house. In the right corner of the house there will be a tower with a spiral staircase to connect all the floors. I wanted to use spruce from the stairs but I didn't find it yet. Acacia is maybe too bright but not bad at all. The patio is cozy and with a wonderful view of the mountains and the sea. The first floor has a large balcony and will be brighter but I will build it later. The restaurant is being invaded by nasty customers asking for pineapple pizza! No way, sir! No way! It's time to experiment with kitchen furniture since I live in a food paradise. But I'm eating pretzels every day. In this corner, I'm putting this fancy bottle crate. Because I like it. We already have the sandwich table and now let's build a nice oven, don't be fooled, it's our good old crafting table but we need it because many food items are crafted. The cutting board to make slices of food and then a furnace, some food is still cooked the old fashioned way. In the left corner we will put the tools from the back room, the sink to have infinite water, then a cabinet for storage, why not? A copper kettle to brew some tea, what else? Let me see if I remember this, not the granite. There, every kitchen needs a proper stove and I choose the granite one to match the red colors. This is the right spot for the sink. You click it, grab the bucket of water and put it again to have more. It's very useful, trust me. Now five bricks, wood slabs on the top and sugar of all things. This is the baking station to decorate the cakes. Let's put the kettle on the stove by sneaking. Now we can craft a basin to make cheese. Let's experiment with an interesting tool, the toaster. It can go here and it works with the redstone signal like this. I'm cutting bread slices. Let's put them in the toaster, turn it on, I can wait! Look at the advancement, best thing since sliced bread. 
By the way, all the tools in this corner are from the sandwich I bought. Let's find out together how to prepare a good sandwich. I'm a big fan of cheese, but the crafted in Minecraft eat mushrooms. So far, I find only this one here in my hand, so let's get some more. I created a small tunnel where the light level is lower than 15, so I can place the mushroom. Now, if I remove this dirt block, yes, it's still there. Now, all we need is bone meal, like so. Yes, my axe is not silk touch, so all I have to do is destroy this mushroom to have all the brown mushrooms I need. Let's work our way to a nice sandwich. I'm gonna pour some meal in the basins. Now I need a cheese culture. Let's try the regular first. And I add it to the milk. Oh, the bottle is not empty. I'm gonna store it in the bottle crate. Now, with a fermented spider eye, I can make a different bottle. This is sour. I'm adding the sour bottle to the second milk basin. Put it away, and now we wait. In the meantime, I crafted concrete and regular pots and you can have these colored and larger pots. This is from a mock colored bottom pots. You can craft them from every color of concrete, terracotta and even glazed terracotta. I could put them there. Let's add some soil, another one there. Now I'm probably supposed to turn it into farmland. And now the seeds, here and there. Hmm, they don't need water. 1.05 speed is not much, honestly. We're still waiting for the cheese, so let's try these decorations from the left to brewery mode. I can put one here. Nice. The first cheese basin has smell particles. I guess it's finally done. Let's cut into slices with a knife and add it to the sandwich. Some meat to add proteins, another slice of toasted bread. Now you should sneak and click the sandwich with an empty hand to get it. Let's explore more features of the sandwichable mode before we go back to building the house. On the cutting board we can cut into slices many food items, even the vanilla ones. Raw fish and chicken into fillets, tomato and onion into slices, pork chops into pork cuts. Many of these slices of food can also be cooked in a furnace. It took me a while to figure it out, but some items can be cooked only on a campfire. So I built this little barbecue out there. Let's try the cut onion, cod and salmon fillets and pork cuts. There's an opal below the campfire, so cooked food is gonna appear in the barrel. There, look, if you cook pork cuts in a smoker, you have this, cooked pork cuts. But the same item, cooked on a campfire, gives you bacon. Then we add the cooked version of the fish fillets and the onion. Cooked food is supposed to restore more anger. Mm, let me try this. Oh my, I can put an egg on a campfire. I can wait to see. Fried egg, it looks so scrumptious. And now, for the very first time since I play Minecraft, look at me, I'm eating an egg. Was it that difficult, Mojang? Now let's craft a jar. Uh, not this one, a bigger one. You can place this jar, and it's so nice, by the way. But this is a pickling jar. You can put water and up to four cucumbers. You can pick this jar anytime. You will store the items inside. See? Let's get back to business. This is a salt rock. You get it by breaking salty sands. Like this one. I got this silk touch shovel from the Maroon Portal. Do you remember? Salty rock can be crafted into two pieces of salt. And if we put it in the jar, Water will turn into brine. And we wait. Mmm, brine is getting greener and greener. And they're ready! They're slightly different in color, see? 
pickled cucumbers should restore more hunger, not much, but you're supposed to combine them with other ingredients and craft yourself a sandwich. Let me try. Yes, a bucket of brine. The sandwich at Belmont is lots of fun. I'm gonna show you this last feature. Salt can be found in salty sand, but it can also be crafted from salty water. First, let's get ourselves a desalinator. Behold the desalinator! Uh, is that a Phineas and Ferb reference? Let's move to the ocean and place the desalinator in the water. You need a piece of redstone every time, but you will slowly get 10 salt. I think picking is a very interesting feature. How would they pickle more food? It's time to build the first floor that will host the tower with a spider staircase, the bedroom, a storage area and a large balcony right above the patio. Instead of a fence, I want to try tractors. The first floor is brighter, with jungle instead of mangrove and a sandstone trim. It's a starter house without fancy blocks from far bimes or other dimensions, but I really like how it looks. I'm in love with the deep slate tiles roofs, and luckily I got plenty down in the mines. 70 days have passed quickly, and I need to focus on my challenge now. Finding crops and trees is a work in progress. The starter house is complete, even if I will add more details and features while I explore the other mods. The other challenge still needs some work. I crafted a map and now I'm exploring more of the world. Some seeds and resources from the mods are buying the pendant and I would love to find more before eating the 100 days. I should make a meme out of this. Finally, birch forest look interesting. What is this? Oh, I broke it. Maybe with shears. Again, let's change. Axe or shovel, axe or shovel. Oh, I feel so disappointed. What did I do wrong? Just for you to know, this shrub in front of the foodable mode. I should have bone milled it and then harvest the berries. Ooh, I see a cherry biome. I want some cherry saplings and pink petals too. I also spotted some beautiful purple flowers. I hope I don't destroy this too. Should I touch it? It's lavender! On my way back home, I kidnap. Uh, I offered the brewmaster a job and he joined me of his own free will. I was supposed to find some new items from the brewery mod in the tiger biome, but maybe I can buy them from this guy. The sign says today pizza. Let's try it out. The mod simple pizza is faithful to its name. Pretty simple. You need to find tomato seeds or even a tomato. And then you can craft the seeds. You plant it normally and the plant will grow like this one. Let's move meal it a couple of times. When you harvest the tomato, the plant is not destroyed. This mod does require new tools and everything can be crafted. Cheese is made with milk and any mushroom, like this. Now all you need is wheat, one cheese and two tomatoes. Keep in mind, tomatoes and cheese must be this version, not the ones from other mods. And that's our glorious pizza margarita. And if I punch it, I have pizza slices. Pizza is on the menu, guys. It's time to focus on the Let's Do Herbal Blooms mod. If you shear any flower, you get the tea blossom. But you can't brew it to make tea. Instead, you can plant the blossom like a seed. Let's boomil it. It grows into a nice shrub. You don't need to shear it, just interact to get the green leaf and more blossoms. Herbal Blues is not just about tea, but also coffee and herbal teas. This one is ready to be harvested, like this. Beans can be planted again or used. Rooibos tea can be found in the savanna. You can sow it and it will slowly grow. Hibiscus and lavender are from the jungle and the cherry biome. They are beautiful flowers that won't grow naturally, but you can boomil them just like Minecraft tall flowers. All plants are fine in the wild, each one has its own behavior, and this might be confusing. You have to shear the lavender plant to have blossoms to brew. With the tea leaves, we can craft a bag or a block. Let's craft both. Keep it in mind, you can get back the leaves from the bag but not from the block. The 
green leaf block is meant to be dried by placing it outside, under the sky. Meantime, we can brew a lavender tea. Just put the kettle over a stove, then add water and sugar and wait about 20 seconds. Other herbal teas are similar, and even coffee is brewed in the same way. The nice thing about the biscuit tea is that it can be placed and it looks quite refreshing. Sadly, the other brews can be placed, but if you add milk to the coffee, well, you craft milk coffee is not surprising. Then milk coffee can be placed and it's so cute! In the meantime, the block of tea leaves has dried up. Do you see the difference in color? Let's break it. Ah, I got only three items from a block made of nine leaves. Each tea has an effect and potions can be brewed too, but we will explore these features another time, so leave a like to support this series and subscribe or you may miss the next video. Time is running out, so I have to hurry. I want to build a brewery right in that spot down the hill, surrounded by all the fields that you need to brew beer and whiskey, hops, barley and also corn when I will find the seeds. I have amazing ideas about it, but I guess the brewery will be a challenge for another video. For now, I'm just clearing the area and planning where the future building will be so I can focus on the task of brewing my homemade pint. This is the foundation of my future brewery. It's a working place where all the ingredients are harvested from the field and then processed. Let's peel the wooden silos. A tool to dry barley, corn and our old friend, Minecraft classic wheat. You can stack the silos very high, but for now let's stop at two layers. Now I'm gonna show you an item that should be in Minecraft, maybe using wheat instead of barley, the rope. I'm attaching it to a fence and then, isn't it nice? Just imagine to use this decoration in your vanilla world. Here, this structure is needed to grow oaks. Oh no, another drunkard looking for a free pint. Please sir, get some help or come back during opening hours. Beware, alcohol turns you into zombies. So far, our only source of opposite is the brewmaster that lives in a safe but ugly place. Don't worry buddy, you're gonna live on the first floor of the brewery, the next building that I'm gonna build. Eventually. In another video. Maybe. The oaks must be sown in the peculiar field that we have prepared. But for now, this is how the silos will work. You fill them with barley, wheat or corn by simple clicking. Each mod you can store just one item. This is why I put four of them. Remember, each one of these is doubled and you can stack them even higher. But they don't need much time and each item is now a bag of dried barley. Place a bag just here, but this item is not just decorative, as you will see. All we have to do is craft a brewing station with a little help from my friend, the Just Enough Items mod. This tool needs two cauldrons, expensive but totally worth it. The brewing station goes inside the brewery, right here. When the oops are ready, just interact with the right section of the plant to harvest them. We are ready for our first brewing experiment. Two bags of barley, one hope item, then some coal here on the back. It's fueled. Let's fill it with water and we wait. But we can go far because bad things may happen and they will, trust me. Look at this, the water level is too high. Let's remove some with the bucket. What is this smoke? Should I add more coal? Oops, probably not. Now it's getting too dry. More water! This is so stressing! The red sparks should be a good sign. And it's ready! You can craft 8 mugs with just 7 wood planks. The mugs have a really nice texture and can be placed even empty. But let's try our first beer. One, two and three. Wait, I feel three mugs. Without using them, odd. Beer quality three. 
Is it high or low? Then you can place it or you can just drink it. I feel a little dizzy but we made it! And now we have only three days to complete the challenge and prepare the banquet. Let's explore the foodables mod with many new crops, fruit trees and tools that can be combined to craft dozens of recipes. I am totally sold of the peppercorn tree and how you handle it. Do you remember? The peppercorn is placed on a rack where it slowly turns into dried peppercorn. But what now? First, let's craft a mortar and pestle. This tool is the symbol of this mod and it's very nice, sadly it is not placeable. Two more tools, the whisk and then the cake tin, a bit expensive, but it's not consumed and you can use it again and again. Everything in the foodable mod is made with the crafting table. You put the tools and the ingredient in the right order, then you craft the new item and get the tools back. Like this, mortar and pestle can be used to make ground salt, ground pepper and flour from wheat. This is something that I wanted to try since we killed the first squid in this world. All these ingredients make a battered squid. Then we can fry it in the furnace. And the squid is ready. It can be placed but it looks so crispy. Look at this texture. This weird combination of a whisk with milk, sugar, flour, eggs and a cake tin makes a cake mix. It could be baked, but we want a fancier cake, so let's create this recipe. A knife on the top to slice bananas right over the cake mix. You already figured out the mechanics of this mod. You can use different fruit or ingredients to have different cakes. This mix should be cooked. Remember that it still holds the cake tin, it makes sense. Now, the baked cake must be separated from the cake tin like this. All cakes of the food of the mod can be placed, just like the regular Minecraft cake. The Let's Do Bakery mod uses classic Minecraft ingredients, but with new tools and mechanics, and it focuses on bakery goods. The first tool is a small pot that you fill with ingredients and a container. With sugar, cocoa, milk and a bowl, we are cooking chocolate truffles. They can be eaten or used as an ingredient for the chocolate spread, like this. The pot can also make puddings or jumps, like this apple jam. It's dawning outside, so let's get serious. With water, sugar and a mushroom in the crafting table we get a bunch of yeast. Now let's craft the sweet dough. This is the oven for cakes and bread. We are baking a blank cake that can be eaten but not placed. And this is the baking station where all the sorts can be decorated. So we can take our blank cake and use some spread to turn it into a chocolate cake. All decorated cakes can be placed and I have the right place for this one. I cook a lot of bakery goods for the blank cake. Apple pie, waffles and different types of bread. The fun part of the bread is that you can place up to three or four items in the same spot. We can also use a tray and craft a basket of bread. It can be placed too and it's very decorative. It's night again. Our bank has pizza, drinks, bread and dessert. Let's add the main courses from the Let's Do Brewery mod. We have cooked chicken and pork, but if we cook them again, there pork knuckle and fried chicken, they both can be placed. Today is a great day, I spent 100 awesome days in this food paradise, having a lot of fun, but I feel like I only had a little taste of everything. We did a lot, there's still so much to explore and discover. Today we're gonna hold our banquet here in the patio, it's time to lay the table. Fried chicken looks amazing, look at that, so juicy. Now, pork knuckles, a stack of waffles, a basket of bread, banana cake, pizza, milk coffee, hibiscus tea, beer, chocolate cake, crusty bread, buns, apple pie. I couldn't fully explore all my food more, so consider this banquet a taste of their full potential. Raise your hands high and thumbs up for me, my MC. Let me 
the case really as promised. And my first guests complain about the service, so I'm overreacting here. Day 100 was a blast, but I'm not ready to bring down the curtain on this world. I'm not done, and I have plenty of ideas. I'm looking forward to finish the brewery, and then find corn and brew every possible recipe of beer and whiskey. I'm also planning to build a large and cozy herbal garden and a glass house tea room. Inside the house, I want to dig a cellar where produce and store pickles and cheese. And there are still so many crops to discover and grow. Thank you all for watching and please leave a like if you had fun, it helps me a lot. I will continue to play in this food paradise to explore all its possibilities. Let me know in the comments if you want to know more about it. See you soon!